Welcome to Inside the Newsroom. I'm Andrus Gyllenhaal, the Herald's executive editor. Today's subject is an intriguing report running in the paper and online this weekend on stimulus spending, one of the hottest topics in politics these days. Unfortunately, a lot of what you hear is more heat than light, that stimulus spending is either a great idea or a terrible one. And what this reporting does is go beyond the arguments and look at how the money is actually being used. The answer might surprise you. The reporting is broken into two stories, both posted on today's website. One, assembled by investigative reporter Chris Adams in our Washington bureau, looks at the pace of how different states are spending highway funds. And the fact that Florida, among others, is lagging behind in putting this money to use at a time when unemployment is at epidemic levels. A second piece by business writer Doug Hanks explains in fascinating detail how stimulus money is being spent in South Florida. There are more than 800 separate payments going out, ranging from massive training projects to dance lessons. And I've been working on a story about uh, where stimulus payments are going in South Florida. Basically what I did yeah. is I went to the uh, government website, recovery.gov, and uploaded the database, the spreadsheet that has each individual payment. You can see, if you scroll, this is all South Florida, and this is just the A's. A, 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 about 800, and more than 800 uh, entries on this list. And like all government programs, there's going to be some things that are surprising and get some criticism. There was uh, $25,000 to a program in Homestead that uses dance to rehabilitate prisoners, which I'm sure some people think is controversial, some people think is great. Uh, Weight Watchers got $1,200, which is part of a state, sort of a vocational rehab where they take disabled people and get them uh, eligible to work. And then there were some things that probably you would expect for the stimulus. You hear a lot about green energy. I think $3 million went to a, uh, a training program in Broward teaching out-of-work construction uh, workers how to install solar panels. $12 million for digital medical records, digitizing your files at the doctor's office, which they think will bring down costs. So it's a very, uh, it's a very interesting list, I think. What the story reflects is how complex it is to inject some $10 billion into a state's economy, that it takes time, and that many of the elements are small, even tiny projects whose impacts will be hard to measure until we're looking back on this era. The findings favor neither critics nor supporters of this funding. Both will likely find evidence in these stories to fuel their arguments. What it does try to do, though, is deliver a detailed analysis on a topic that hasn't had enough attention as the disputes play out in campaigns, in Congress, in neighborhood bars. As always, thank you for your emails, phone calls, and letters. We appreciate your reading the Miami Herald and spending time here on MiamiHerald.com.